Well, good evening, everybody. Um, my name's Jill, Jill Mason, and I teach chair-based exercise. And uh, I'm offering you a little taster of a chair-based exercise session. So I'd like you to find a nice, comfortable, sturdy chair to sit on. Um, you want to be able to have your feet on the floor. And we want to sit up nice and tall, first of all. So if you move forward a bit on the chair, towards the first third of the chair, and have your feet hip width apart. If you're not quite sure, make fists with your hands, place them between your knees. Yeah, and you look down approximately hip width apart. And then we want to think about lifting up through the body, lengthening the neck, relaxing your shoulders, just getting a really nice posture to start with. So with chair-based exercise, the way I teach it, we tend to warm up the body, lower part of the body, upper part of the body. So we're going to make a start by marching with the feet. OK, and so we're just going to be I'm going to sit back a little bit so you can see a little bit better. OK, so we're going to march with the feet. <clears throat> and if you want to, you could point the toe as you lift the leg. So you get a bit of movement in the ankle as well. And you know your body, you know how it feels. If something's too much for you, ease off or stop. And so we're marching with the feet and then we're gonna stop. Okay, and now we're gonna work with the arms. So we're gonna swing the arms forward and back, just getting some movement into the arms and when you do, just try and move that shoulder back a little bit more. So you get a nice movement, still lifting up through the body. And then we're gonna march with the feet as well as the arms. So we get a nice bit of movement going on. So getting the circulation going, we're warming up the muscles ready to start. Okay, so we're just going to rest there for a moment. So first of all, we're going to take our attention down to our right foot. Okay, and we're going to lift the foot and stretch the leg away. You can support underneath with your hands if you want to and point the toe away and then the heel away. So toes away, heel away. Toes away, heel away so you're getting some good ankle movement going on there and then we're going to bend the knee and lower the foot down let's go to the other leg okay we're going to lift and stretch point the toes away heel away toes away heel away toes away heel away and then we're going to bend the knee and lower the foot down. Okay, so we've done a little bit of work with the legs. We're now going to work with the arms. Okay, so just let your arms come down beside you. We're going to bend the elbows and bring your hands to your shoulders. The elbows are going to go forward and up. We're going to stretch up towards the ceiling. Back to the shoulders. Stretch forward in front of you back to the shoulders. Now with your elbows, take them out to the side and up and lower them down and relax your arms down. So we're gonna do that twice more if that's okay for you. So bend the elbows, hands to shoulders. Elbows go forward and up, stretch up towards the ceiling, back to the shoulders, coming down, elbows out to the side and up elbows go down, relax your arms down. And again, bend the elbows, hands to shoulders, elbows go up and stretch up towards the ceiling. Back to the shoulders again, elbows come down, take them out to the side and up, lower them down, let your arms come down beside your body. Okay, so we've done a bit of movement with the arms, let's go back to the feet. So this time, we're going to lift and stretch again, but this time we're going to rotate the ankle. So it's going to go round in a circle. 
Try not to let the whole leg dance here. Try and keep the movement in the ankle going round and round. And we're going to rotate it the other way. Circle it around. And then we're going to bend the knee, lower the foot down. Another way of doing this, rather than stretching the leg, you can cross them over if that's safe for you and that supports that leg because it's the ankle we're working on. So it's entirely up to you how you want to work. Take the other leg forward and circle the ankle. Change direction, circle the other way. And then bend the knee and lower the foot down. Okay, always just checking your posture, just adjusting your posture. So this time we're going to take our arms down beside us, but we're going to put in a side bend. So you could do it two ways. If you just watch, we either just go down with one arm and over and come up. Or if you can and you want to, you can stretch that arm up and go over and get a stretch and a side bend at the same time. Come up as you breathe in, doesn't matter if your arm's up there or not, go over again to that side, breathe out, come back up and breathe in, go over again and breathe out. If you can hold that for a moment or two and breathe in and out, take that arm up, and lower it down and just ease out in the shoulders. We're going to the other side. So however you decide to work, other arm, if it's going up, goes up towards the ceiling and we go over to the other side. So use your breath to help you breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go over. Breathing in as you come up, and breathing out as you go over. And then we're gonna lower that arm down. And again, we're just gonna ease out in the shoulders, maybe just shake the arms out a bit. And again, we're gonna work with the feet. Now this time, you're gonna have one heel on the floor and you're gonna tap the toe. So you may want need to come forward a bit on the chair so that you can reach the floor. For some of us that have got longer legs, sometimes it's better to put a cushion underneath. I never have that problem. I'm four foot and 11 and a half tall. So the foot's just going up and down. You can do the same thing with the hand at the same time. If you want to get movement into your wrist. And then we're gonna stop, go to the other leg, heel on the floor, toe goes down. Hand can go as well if you want it to. Just moving that ankle. Okay, and we're going to rest the legs. We're going to put a little bit of a twist in here now. Okay, so we're going to cross the arms over, still looking forward. Cross your arms over if I just show you where we're going. And we're going to turn and look to the side and come back to the front. So we're gonna do that three times. So breathe in and as you breathe out, turn. And then as you breathe in, come back to the front. And again, turn. And come back to the front. And we're gonna turn and come back to the front. And then we're going to lower the arms down. So move your shoulders. One shoulder is going up towards the ear. Take it back, lower it down. The other shoulder up towards your ear. Take it back, lower it down. Both shoulders up, back and down. Very good. So we're going to twist to the other side. So cross over. If you want to increase the movement, you put your hand on the elbow and you ease it round and then you come back. So this is an easier, gentler way. So we're gonna turn as we breathe out, come back to the front as you breathe in. We're gonna turn as you breathe out, come back to the front as you breathe in. And again, we're gonna turn 
and come back to the front and we're going to lower the arms down. Very good. So this time we're going to sit back in the chair so you can feel the chair behind you. And we're going to lift the leg and stretch it forward. But if it's OK for you, we're going to stretch the arms forward as well. So you've got two options here. One is that you lift and stretch and you sit back in the chair. The other one is you lift and stretch. And as you do, you come forward with the body. If you do, that's moving the back quite a bit. So you need to know your back's OK to do that. So when you're ready, we're going to lift, stretch, arms forward, leg forward and hold. Bend the knee, lower the foot, lower the arms down. And again, lift the foot, stretch away and hold. And bend the knee, lower the foot down. And again, lift and stretch and hold. And bend the knee, lower the foot down. So just rest for a moment or two, just ease out. Can we do the same thing with the other leg and arms? So stretch and hold, bend and lower, lift and stretch, bend and lower. Last time, lift and stretch, bend and lower and just relax through the body and see how you're feeling. Okay, so we're going to come up Try and go from what we call sit to stand. So you shuffle forward, you hip walk forward on your chair till you come to the first third of the chair. And with your feet, again, you want feet hip width apart. If you're not sure, yeah, you could do that. Take the toes back a little bit. You can use the chair to help you stand up if you want to. Uh, otherwise, do it without. Push down through your feet and come up to a standing position. And when you do, we're gonna do what we call paddling. So you just lift the heels off the floor, but the toes basically stay on the floor and we just get a little bit of movement going on in the feet. Just easing out. Okay, so we're gonna stop. Okay, just to get a sense of you standing rather than sitting. And then we're going to come back towards the chair, shuffle back, feel the chair behind you. If you can sit down without holding the chair, otherwise use the chair to help you sit down. And you're back to your seated position. Now, not all of us are able to come up like that. So I'm going to turn my chair because um, the way you can do it is you just let your chest move forward, your shoulders move forward, bring your shoulder blades back. So you just arch the back a bit like this and then you relax. So again, chest forward, shoulders back, shoulder blades towards one another and relax. One more time, okay? Chest forward, shoulders back, shoulder blades towards one another and relax. Okay, I'm going to turn my chair back again so I can see you. And we're just going to take an easy resting breath for a moment or two. Easy breathing in and out. Okay. So from here, we just want to I realise I've stood you up and possibly you're not able to stand up or you feel quite uncomfortable about that. So we're just going to do a little bit of movement with the buttocks here. So we're going to shift the weight to one side and the other buttocks coming off the chair. Then we're coming back to seated and then we're going over to the other side. Now you don't want to do this too fast, otherwise you can feel quite dizzy. So maybe another time to the other side and back and again to the other side and back. Okay, and so we're just gonna relax through the body. So when I teach chair-based exercise, we often use resistance straps. I've got one here so I can show you. 
Um, you can pick these up in a lot of places. You can um, order them online. You don't need to use them. You can do the exercises without them. It just puts a little bit more resistance, a little bit, makes it a little bit harder. These come in different strengths. So some are very light, some are very heavy. So obviously the heavier it is, the uh, harder the work. We're gonna hook this underneath one of our feet and hold the ends, okay? If you haven't got a strap, that's fine. You do the movement. I'm gonna show you the movement first. So we're gonna lift and stretch and we're gonna pull back with the arms. So you can still do this movement strap or no strap yeah you don't need um you don't need to have a strap but if you want to make it a little bit stronger do okay so we're going to lift the foot stretch the leg pull back with the arms and hold and relax it bend the knee lower the foot down and again lift the foot Stretch the leg, don't take it above hip height. Pull back with the arms and hold and relax it, bend the knee, lower the foot down. So if you weren't using a strap, you'd lift the foot, stretch the leg, pull back with the arms and hold, relax it, bend the knee, lower the foot down. So as I said before, whatever you do one side, you do the other. So you take it underneath the other foot. And not forgetting to sit, sit up tall as you're working. Okay, when you're ready, we're gonna lift the foot, stretch the leg, pull back with the arms and hold, and relax it, bend the knee, lower the foot down. And again, lift the foot, stretch the leg, pull back with the arms and hold, and relax it, bend the knee, lower the foot down. And one more time, lift the foot, Stretch the leg, pull back with the arms and hold and relax it, bend the knee, lower the foot down. Okay, we'll take it away from the feet and we're gonna take it round behind our back and underneath our arms. And again, if you wanna make that stronger, you take it round behind your chair because when you've got it underneath your arms, as you take an arm forward, your back moves forward as well. Put it behind the chair, the chair doesn't move and it's harder to do. You don't have to have a strap to do this. You can do the same movement with the arm, and especially if you've got some sort of difficulty with the arm, never overdo things. Okay, so we're coming underneath the arm, holding the ends, sitting up tall, one arm's going forward, stretch and relax it. And again, we're going to stretch and relax it. And again, we're going to stretch and relax it and just rest that arm. The other arm's going forward, stretch and relax. And again, stretch and relax. And again, stretch and relax and again just take an easy breath in and out we're going to bring the strap round from behind us okay and you're going to have it in your hands like this hands underneath the strap and one arm's going to go up and one arm's going to go down so you don't have to have the strap same stretch but without so when you're ready stretch and hold and relax it Opposite arm, stretch and hold and relax it. And again, stretch and relax it. And again, stretch and relax it. Okay, so this time we're going to put the strap on the floor. Put one end on the floor and put your feet on top of it. Your hand is coming in from behind got like a tail here that hangs over if I show you we're going to take the arm up like this and down and once again legs aren't really doing anything they're just holding the strap down but it's your arm coming up like this 
and going down. It's a bit like getting a pint of beer and taking it up, yeah? So with or without strap, doesn't matter. I tend to put my hand on the thigh, the other thigh to just balance me a bit. And when you're ready, we take it up and we lower it down. So the arm goes up and the arm goes down. The arm goes up, the arm goes down, and we just relax and we turn it to the other side. So you either just put it in the other hand or ideally we swap it over to the other side and we take our hand in from behind, tail on top, so that we're ready to take that arm up. So always with these exercises, whatever we do one side, we do the other. So we're doing three and we'll do one more. And then we're going to take that strap away. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so we're going to put it to one side, not on the floor where you could trip over. And we're back to our chair once again. So we need to have a think. We've worked with the ankles. We've moved with the knees. Okay, we've moved with the buttocks here. We've put some movement into the back here, taking it back. With the shoulders here, let's just move one shoulder up towards the ear, take it back and lower it down. The other shoulder up towards the ear, take it back, lower it down. Both shoulders up, back, and down. Uh, we know we've worked with the arms and the hands. So with the head here, we're just going to work with the head. So if it's okay for you, we're going to turn the head and look to one side. Come back to the front, turn your head and look to the other side. Come back to the front. Only if it's okay for you, take the head up. Otherwise, just take the eyes up, keep the head looking forward. And then chin comes down towards the chest and you look down towards the floor. So you lengthen the back of the neck. Now lift the head up. Only if it's okay for you, we're going to lower one ear towards the shoulder. Come back up. Lower the other ear towards the shoulder. Come back up. And just ease out. So because I'm staying with chair-based exercise, I'm going to finish here. I hope it's given you a bit of experience of doing chair-based exercise, doing it at home, doing it at a time when it's suitable for you. And ideally, if you can do those exercises a couple of times a week, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes really, really will help you, especially at this time. We need to keep our muscles strong. So stay safe and enjoy the exercise. I'm now going to turn um, the recording off.